We have Dr. Rodney Story on our show today, and he's going to be talking about his story. He's a direct primary care doctor in Moscow, Idaho, not far from us in Moses Lake, just a few hours. And he has a very exciting story of what really changed his practice and, and, and medicine for him and his patients. And he, now he's touched thousands of lives because of it. So he started out about four years ago, I think it was, that you made a change. Yeah, career. we're in our fifth year. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, tell, tell us your story. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's kind of interesting that we have to be all the way at the Free Market Medical Association conference, <laughs> all the way here in Texas to cross paths with Northwest natives. <laughs> right. uh, but it's fantastic to take the time to spend some time with you guys. Um, I'm a family doctor by training, and I love family medicine. I love spending time with patients and knowing them. I love taking care of generations, so not just uh, family members, but, but multiple generations. And I love that family medicine can be a great starting spot and a great medical home for people to get care. I live in a, uh, however, in the American system that's becoming really fractured um, and very expensive. And, and I'm concerned about that. Um, I've actually been through the process myself, been a family physician for almost 20 years. Through that, I've been through a number of uh, different uh, uh, jobs as I've been trying to find not only the best place for me to practice medicine, but the best way to give care in a way that I knew was good care for people. So tell us what made you make the switch? So I'm, uh, let me give you a little bit of my background, yeah. and then I'll, I'll kind of use that to explain how did I arrive at direct primary care. Um, I'm a family physician. I trained at the University of Washington in Seattle. Had some Ooh, go ahead. training, I knew. <laughs> uh, thankfully, we now have multiple medical uh, 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 schools in the Northwest, including Washington State, and great to see them setting up campus in Spokane. Um, fantastic training program. Went back to the Mayo Clinic and finished my training through them, and then went back to my hometown in northern Wisconsin to practice. Fantastic opportunity. Small town, uh, 5,000 people, ended up being the only doctor in town, but I had a group of doctors that I was sharing care with for hospital. Unfortunately, the climate really changed, and some of that was due to the success of my practice. I loved giving good, good care, I was well trained, and that met a need in our community. But then as people came, the system overwhelmed my practice. And I just ended up with so many people that I got really quite uh, bogged down. Mm -hmm. um, tired at the end of the day, seeing 40 or 50 people, always on call. Um, and never really able to kind of find a balance where I could be healthy and continue to sustain that practice. Sadly, I had to leave that practice after four years, made a change and said, what can I pick up, pick up to this that, that will reserve or preserve my life and my sanity? And use that as an opportunity to move up to the Northwest. So my wife and I and our children moved to Moscow, Idaho. I've been a hospital physician for the last nine years. Through that practice, uh, loved being able to care for people that were sick in the hospital in a small town environment, really unique to make high quality care and meet that to a small town. Our little town went through some strange changes. We had a, a local surgeon that began doing transgender care uh, on a surgical, and I, and, I, and I was like, what? Why can't we just focus on just the very excellent good care? Why do we have to bring this very divisive type of care to our community? It led to me needing to leave, and I left, and as I was leaving, I was like, oh, where do I go from here? I'm highly qualified to go anywhere. I'm board certified in family medicine, heavily trained in internal medicine, board certified in, in um, hospice and palliative medicine, um, board certified in fellowship recognized in hospi hospital medicine. Uh, I could go anywhere, but I want to stay here. I love this community. I love this small town of Moscow, Idaho. And I have a community of people who I know now who are saying, we can't get care. We have medical insurance, but we cannot find doctors who stay. The cost of our care is ridiculously expensive. We can't get a hold of our doctor after hours. We have to go to the emergency room all the time. When we do go to the, the clinic, we, we can't follow up in a meaningful time. We can't get a hold of our doctor. And I, and I was having people beg me, hey, you're leaving hospital medicine. Why don't you do us to go be a family doctor again? Family medicine is a mess. In the 10 years that I had been out of hospital or family medicine, um, the government had made things almost unbearable to be a family doc. They had brought in all these quality metrics that were, they required family doctors to do, to the point that family docs are now spending 50% of their professional time not taking care of patients. Well, that's, that's not sustainable, it's not enjoyable. No doctor goes into medicine to be a, a checkbox uh, uh, administrator. They want to give patient care. And I knew as I was considering going back into family medicine, there's no way in the world that I would ever do this again. How can I find another opportunity? Well, thankfully, there's a movement called direct primary care, which is growing. And we looked at it and we said, I think we can do this. 